it's Monica, owner of Monica Rose San Francisco, and I am so excited because I'm going to start doing different type of videos for you guys. Um, I'm going to share some tips and tricks that I have learned about how to become a successful business owner. And these things are things that have actually worked for me and my business and you guys know that I have been doing this for a couple years now. So I just kind of want to share like what I've learned throughout this process and hopefully you guys find it helpful and I just, I don't know, I just want to help you guys out if you're like an entrepreneur or business owner or you sell things online, I don't know. Whatever it may be, hopefully these tips help you. In this video, you. I am going to share how I package my items and why it's so important uh, to really put a little bit of effort into your packaging. It really goes a long way and uh, you're just gonna see why it helps you with customer service and building your business, branding yourself, marketing yourself, and you're just gonna get that returning customer and that is what you want to build your business. So but this is step one and hopefully you guys enjoy and if you like it, give it some thumbs. If you don't, don't say mean things but that's okay you can say in the comments uh, if you have any questions just let me know the first step you'll need some craft baggies and I got these ones online in bulk at paper mart and I love to buy everything in bulk and then you'll need a white ink pad you can get this at any craft store but I actually got that one on Amazon once you have that you just need a hard surface so you can do your polka dots Next, you're just gonna take any pencil and you're gonna need the eraser part of the pencil. Oh, my candy cane pencil! And then you're gonna take your pencil and dab it into the ink and taking off any excess ink so you don't have like a big blob. But basically, you're just gonna do dots sporadically throughout the paper on the front and back. You can actually buy this paper with the polka dots already made. But I found that to be like super expensive and this way you can just do it yourself. It's easy and it's more cost effective because you want to keep in mind how much you're actually spending on supplies because it's all going to tie into your cost of goods sold. Now every business is different and if polka dots is not your style and say you're like a doggy boutique and you sell blinged out collars, then you can just bust out your bedazzler and put some crystals or throw some glitter on there and you can just make it your own. Now the next step is you're going to take your garment or your item or whatever you're selling and just make sure that there's no flaws, any loose threads, make sure it's the right size. And then once you fold it nicely, you're just going to put it inside the baggie. And you also want to make sure that your item is not wrinkled because you can definitely tell when someone just throws in a wrinkled item and then, you know, it's on its merry way. But if you just like quickly steam it, it really makes a big difference. Now you're just going to take the end and you're going to make a nice crease. Once you do that, you just take some scotch tape and make it secure. Bam! Scotch tape. My favorite part is adding the lace. I absolutely love lace and yes, I also bought it in bulk. Uh, I mean, you can use any color, any style, any pattern, but I just love the look of lace. The style to my brand is a shabby, chic, classic look, and I always try to incorporate that look into my marketing, my packaging, because you wanna have a cohesive theme. That's how people are going to remember you, and when they open their package, they're gonna know that it's from your business. This is from Monica Rose, and they're, they're gonna enjoy opening their packages. And fall back together. Now I'm just taking some ribbon and the colors to my business are purple and teal or purple and blue and I love to add that, just give it a pop of color.
Once you have your package nice and pretty, the most important part to this is a thank you note. Yes, it's so important to include a handwritten note. It goes such a long way and I guarantee that your customers are going to remember you for this. And I'm actually gonna do another video a little bit more about thank you notes and different ways to use thank you notes. The last step is all about stickers. And yes, I love stickers. So basically I got these from Zazzle. I got them custom made with nice little vintage roses for Monica Rose, yay. But basically I love to add inspirational quotes or inspirational words so that when my buyers open their package, they can see something nice. Hello, beautiful. And this is how I package my items, but I'm gonna show you another way where if you don't wanna to spend too much money on supplies, you can still show your customers how much they mean to you and still stand out from the rest. Yeah! I also love to use tissue paper. Not only is it super affordable when you buy it in bulk, I literally paid a few cents for each sheet. It is such an easy way to package your items. I use tissue paper when I sell cardigans or sweaters or if I sell a big bundle of clothing. It's the easiest way to package your items if it doesn't necessarily fit in the paper baggies. Now once you fold your item nicely into the tissue paper, all you're gonna do is take each side and you're just gonna fold it across. And you basically just need two pieces of tape. Remember, scotch tape is your best friend. Keep in mind you don't have to use all of your supplies at once on one package. If you want to use stickers, if you want to use lace, maybe you just want to use a ribbon, that's perfectly fine. But as long as you have a cohesive look and a cohesive theme to your brand, then you're good to go. Next, I'm just gonna take some more ribbon so I can make a cute little bow. This way, when your buyer opens their package, it's like a present to themselves, or if they're gonna give it as a gift, it's like a cute little bow present. It's so adorable. Do you remember how it all went down? Da, down. Well, I'm not done. Anymore, I won't and the last step is, is yes, another thank you note. And also, don't forget to add a business card as well. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you one more step of packaging and that's all about jewelry. I promise it's gonna be quick. I don't know about you, but I always have a bunch of these boxes laying around where I got like from previous gifts, like jewelry boxes, and I recycle everything. And yes, I also use this for my packaging. So what I did is I just took some paper and put some more polka dots on the top. And I took some more ribbon and some tape and I just put it along the edges, grabbed some lace and just tied a bow. Another alternative is these cute little mesh baggies that you can also get at any craft store or online. And I use these for earrings or for rings and I pretty much just use a piece of cardboard paper, colorful paper and just put my earrings on that. You love, like it's super easy, super cute and it's just another affordable alternative to packaging your jewelry. I hope you found this video somewhat helpful and please subscribe if you like to see more videos about how to become a successful business owner. Hey guys, it's Monica, owner of... Babe, can you hear me? Babe! 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 I got too much hair, too much hair, too much hair, too much hair everywhere. Ready?
<laughs> You're gonna do that. All about the packages, baby. 